Okay, now as I said to you the other day, you are expected to mark your essay and I've provided you with a form. And in that form, the first part deals with your planning and organization of your essay. And the second part actually talks about the content. So this video is to help you to mark your essay. Now, in the beginning of your essay, at some point, we need a clear explanation of what an interactive whiteboard is. Now, most of you will try to describe the interactive whiteboard in terms of the functionality, in terms of what the, and that's fine. But what I'd really look for is an explanation that goes a little bit further than that and very quickly talks about the fact that we can perhaps look at an interactive whiteboard once you've described the elements of it in terms of the hardware and the software. You might even talk about some of the different types of hardware that are used for interactive whiteboards as they're not all the same, as you know from the demonstrations we've had and also to talk about the software. And the software becomes very significant when you have two interactive whiteboards that are very similar in terms of their basic functionality, in terms of the actual hardware and the way that they work. And the way they try to distinguish between one company and another is through the software. And that is partly why the software tends to be very sophisticated. And you might talk about, just talk about very quickly, some of the things that are done to try to uh, make one piece of software better uh, than from a rival company but certainly some sort of explanation of the software issue as well as the hardware issue then we come on to the advantages now the problem with this question is that to be honest with you you can make a huge list of advantages and start to talk about a whole range of things you can save everything onto a PDF file you can stay at the interactive whiteboard you don't have to keep moving to your computer you can make use of the pre set activities and games and we've, we've had a look at those you really can talk about the visual visual stimulus you've got access to video and pictures very very simply and you've got a repository of pictures which is often provided with the software itself you could talk about the interactivity element having to come to the screen dragging things across the screen clicking on things etc you can have multiple pages you could even talk about some of the recent work which is looking at the use of iPads to control um, an interactive whiteboard now you could go on and on and on but the truth is these advantages need to be put in some kind of framework some kind of understanding of really are they real advantages and I think in that and it's the in the way that you look at that, you might bring in some of these things. First of all, can this be done on a normal board? For example, interactivity, I would argue, uh, is far better on a normal whiteboard or blackboard than it is on an on a, on a IWB because you can have three or four people at the, uh, the board at the same time. Can anything be done better or equally by just having a computer and a screen and possibly saving money? Um, and in fact, of course, you need a projector in there as well, computer, projector and screen. And the answer is yes. And of course, in many cases, schools already have those in place anyway. And so you really do need to think about whether these are, are kind of tangible advantages or whether really they're just kind of perceived as advantages. But in fact, they already exist anyway. So I really like to see that being questioned. And I'd, I'd like you to take that even further, really. Because I think you could talk about it in terms of the SAMRA model, in terms of this idea of whether or not these are actually making a contribution and taking teaching and learning further. And so any answer to the advantages needs to have some kind of questioning, some kind of underpinning, some kind of focus that's really beginning to access and really focus on whether or not these advantages that we're talking about are real or not. Now, that's basically what I'm looking for. So it's not a big long list of just the advantages, but some serious questioning about whether these advantages are true. And of course, you could bring in at any point here any research that you felt was relevant to back up your points. Now, going on to the disadvantages. 